Hey everyone, welcome back, welcome to the channel. Thanks for taking some time to spend with me today and watch my videos, I really do appreciate it. Today I've got something a little bit different. I'm going to show you a tool that has really helped change the game for me, has improved a couple of my challenges, and really I've been enjoying using. Of course, I'm talking about the dosing cup specifically made from Crema products, and it's made specifically for the Breville Barista Express. This has been a game changer for me, so I wanna show you exactly what I'm talking about talk a little bit about the quality, the build, and how it's really helped improve my game. Stick around and I'll show you how. Now since you're here, I'd also appreciate it if you go ahead and hit the like button. I really do appreciate it and it really helps the channel and it helps show the algorithm that this video is being enjoyed and it will show it to other people as well. So really appreciate it. Hit the like button and then of course if you're not a subscriber, please subscribe. It's free, it won't cost you anything. With that, let's take a look at this bad boy. Well, it's essentially a 54 millimeter portafilter that goes into the grinder. So it has this tab that works very well with the built-in grinder, the Breville Barista Express. What happens, you essentially put this into the grinder and you push and it essentially activates the grinder in the same manner as the portafilter does as well. This is where you grind your coffee. So the way this works is that because now you're grinding your coffee into this much larger vessel, essentially, no coffee will spill. So you don't have to worry about the shaking of the portafilter. All the coffee will go into here on its own without any issues. So let's talk about the quality and the build for a moment. You automatically know that you're holding a quality product just by the looks and feel. When you hold this in your hands at a little bit more than 120 grams, this is a great product. It shows it immediately just by the weight and the heft. The great thing about it, it's built well. The edges are not sharp. It looks fantastic. Mine doesn't have any issues. There's no bumps, bruises, or anything. It also looks great because it matches the color of the Breville Barista Express. As you see, this is brushed steel, which matches exactly the Breville uh, casing on the outside. The one thing I really like about this, it's a specific thing that they've done here, but I truly enjoy, is the branding on the bottom. I know it's hard for you to see, but it's laser etched at the bottom of the dosing cup, so it's not painted on, so it will never fade away, essentially. You can't see it. It's hard. I get it. But it's there. So I really like the build. It's great. Works fantastic. So let's talk about the workflow for a moment. Now, if you're a Breville Barista Express user, you know the frustration when you're grinding into the portafilter and every few seconds you have to shake the portafilter and distribute the coffee evenly. Because if you leave it, it'll just going to spill on the side. That is a frustration I've had for a long period of time, especially if you're doing large doses of 18 grams or higher. And this is where this uh, dosing cup can help tremendously. You see what happens when you grind into the dosing cup, it really helps clean up your messes. So let's look at this comparison for a second. Here, you can take a look and exactly see what happens when we grind 18 grams into a portafilter. I'm not going to touch it, I'm just going to let it sit there. What you'll notice here very quickly is that as we're grinding, a lots of coffee is spilling to the side, which creates a mess. It may not necessarily impact the taste of the coffee, but it just creates an overall mess. Now let's take a look of the dosing cup here. Let's see what happens when we grind directly into it. What you will notice is that 18 grams is no problem. It grinds directly into the dosing cup. Nothing spills, everything's there, everything is in place waiting for you to put it into the dosing cup, waiting for you to put it into the portafilter. It works fantastic. So let's talk about another improvement that this can help with specifically as you're making your coffee. One of the benefits of having a dosing cup is that once you're done grinding the coffee, you can easily 
stir the coffee and break some of the clumps you may have as part of the grinder because we all know the grinder in the Revel Barista Express is not fantastic. It produces quite a bit of clumps. So you can easily take a spoon or another device that you may have and stir the coffee within the dosing cup without any issues. Now, of course, you can do this as well in the portafilter, but it becomes much messier because you just don't have the space. With this, you have plenty of space. So what happens is that once you've stirred your beans, you take this, you flip the portafilter on top of this, on top of the dosing cup, and then you just slowly flip the dosing cup on top and let all the beans fall into the portafilter. At that point, you take it and you just tap it into your counter a few times to make sure that the beans are being distributed evenly and are not falling to one side a couple of times or so and at that point slowly remove the dosing cup and as you'll see all the beans are exactly where they need to be the coffee is exactly where they ne it needs to be no issues at this point you can go ahead and tamp or use a distribution tool first as I do and then tamp afterwards you're ready to go So what about concerns? Well, I gotta tell you, from a building quality perspective, I don't have any issues. This dosing cup works well, looks fine, it's perfect. With that said though, if you decide to store this into the grinder, which is where I store mine, you may have some issues with the space when you're pulling shots. There's just not a lot of room in the machine. But other than that, you can always just store this somewhere else. You won't have any issues, everything is fine. Now from a taste perspective, I can't say that I taste a difference when I pull a shot with a normal portafilter or if I grind into the dosing cup first. I just can't taste the difference. I would think though, if you had a naked portafilter, you'd be able to see the difference, especially if you're breaking the clumps into the dosing cup. But I don't have a naked portafilter, so I can't speak on that. But that's something that I would imagine would happen. So with that, if you have $40 or so, I would highly recommend that you get one of these. It's really helpful. It has helped me tremendously. And really, it's something that I should have done a long time ago, but here we are today. So thank you so much for watching my videos. I really do appreciate it. Please consider hitting that like button down there or even subscribing. It really does help the channel, and I'll be eternally grateful. Thank you, and we'll catch you on the next video.